Is the only way to buy a rental property using a mortgage? Uh uh, no way. In fact, today we're gonna to talk about five ways to buy a rental properties without a mortgage at all. And when you think about buying a rental property, you probably think about going through a traditional underwriting process at a big name bank, right? You get on the phone with Wells Fargo or Bank of America and you go through a traditional mortgage process. It can be helpful. It can be a very great tool for helping you to grow your real estate portfolio. But there are also a lot of scenarios in which a mortgage isn't the right fit. I've certainly been there. I know all about this. I've been in a difficult situation with bad credit over the years, and I had to get creative, and I couldn't use a mortgage. So let's talk about it today. I'm Clayton Morris, longtime real estate investor, the founder of Morris Invest. And in my personal real estate career, I've used a number of different financial strategies. I've done everything from wholesaling properties, seller financing, 401k loans. That was one of my first actually, borrowing from my 401k, self-directed investing using a self-directed IRA, and so much more. And with that experience, I've learned that most barriers to buying rental properties are just mental barriers. There are so many different ways to buy real estate that if one option doesn't work for you, there are always other ways to do it. So if you find yourself in a situation where you're trying to grow your portfolio without a traditional mortgage, this video is for you. I'm going to share five alternative ways to buy rental properties. So let's get into it. All right. Number one, using retirement funds. Now, I've been talking about the merits of buying real estate investments with a retirement account for years, but it still shocks me, frankly, how many people don't realize that this is an option that is at their disposal. There are a few ways to go about it, and it just depends on what type of account you have access to and what your employment status is. Two of the most common routes that we see investors taking are number one, a 401k loan, one of my favorites, and number two, buying real estate inside of a self-directed IRA, another one of my favorites. So let's talk about using retirement funds. So you can use your retirement funds to invest, and it can be a good fit for investors who want to diversify their retirement funds and have more control over their investments. Now, I won't be getting into the nuances of these strategies inside of this video. I've done deep dives here on the channel about each of these strategies, but if you think you're interested in buying real estate through one of these avenues, I want you to check out the videos below. We'll have linked up in the description on 401k investing and self-directed IRA investing. Again, we'll have those linked up below. We'll probably have a, a card up here on the screen somewhere as well as in the description below. All right, number two, tapping into your home equity. Look, we saw a massive increase in equity over the past few years for most Americans. 37% increases in equity for many Americans. That's enormous. So why not tap into it? This is another way to invest that many investors overlook. In recent years, home values have risen significantly, leaving homeowners with tons of capital that's available to them. But how do you tap into it? Options for accessing your home equity include utilizing a, a cash out refinance or taking out a home equity line of credit. If you're a homeowner who is interested in this strategy, I want you to check out my full video. My full video is called The Ultimate Guide to Leveraging Your Home Equity to Invest. It's the ultimate guide. You can't get more ultimate than that. So please watch that video. Number three, harnessing the power of non-recourse financing. Okay, a non-recourse loan is a business loan that is based on the assets qualification, not you and not your personal credit. This can be a great solution for investors who've maxed out the 10 mortgage limit, right? You're only able to get a 10 mortgage limit under the traditional guidelines. So you could have gotten 10 different traditional mortgages for rental properties. And after 10, the federal government says, sorry, you can't get any more. So non-recourse, that's a great option. Or maybe you have a lower credit score. Remember, I had a 570 credit score at one point after I went through a foreclosure after the 2007-2008 uh, collapse. So I had bad credit. I was in a world of hurt, actually. So I had to be creative when I first started getting, when I first started with real estate investing. So a lower credit score, eh, who cares? Non-recourse financing, that's a great alternative for you. Or maybe you don't want to sign a personal guarantee, right? You don't want your name personally guaranteed on the property. So by having a non-recourse loan, you could have, again, an LLC that owns the property and the bank is financing the asset, not you personally. The drawbacks 
are that the loan terms will be less favorable. Okay, I'm just going to say that non-recourse, you might pay higher interest rates and you'll need a bigger down payment. But all in all, a non-recourse loan can be an excellent product for growing your portfolio without using a traditional mortgage. So if you, again, reach that 10 limit and you want to get your 11th property or your 12th property, non-recourse financing is a great way to do it. Number four, getting into the world of private lending. Now, if you need flexible loan terms, there's no better place to look than private money. Working with a private lender is a great way to buy rental properties without using a mortgage because there's no government standards or regulations here. When you work with a private lender like Uncle John and your family, you're able to negotiate the terms that benefit both parties. You know, it's Thanksgiving dinner, you're sitting down with Uncle John and Uncle John doesn't know anything about investing. He's got a lot of money and he would like to make 5% return on his money, right? And Uncle John would say, great, okay, uh, Clayton, it sounds like you're a great investor. You've been buying up properties and yeah, let's set up a loan, okay? I'll lend you 200,000 at 5% interest for 30 years. Great, now I don't need to use a bank. I've got Uncle John. Everyone could use an Uncle John, right? Number five on my list, teaming up with a partner. Buying real estate within a real estate partnership can be a great way to double or triple your resources. This can work in so many different ways, whether you both have funds or maybe you have the knowledge and the willingness, but you need the money. Maybe your partner has the money and you don't, but you've got the, you've got the brains. This is how it works, right? You'll need to consider splitting profits and the legal implications, uh, implications of working with a partner. Did I say implications? It's a new word implications of working with a partner. But as long as you work the deal correctly, a partnership can be beneficial for both you and your partner. So you come together, he's got money, you've got the deal, you found the property. Great, how do we structure this that's beneficial? Does he make 70% of the profits on the tenant paying rent? You make 30%. What's the structure here look like, right? But again, this is a great way. You don't have the money, he does how you come together and start building a portfolio together. I hope this gave you some great ideas on how to buy real estate without utilizing a traditional mortgage. This is by no means a comprehensive list, but just a few ideas to get the wheels spinning in your brain. Don't just rely on the traditional mortgage route and think that's it for you, right? There's so many different creative ways to do it. Again, most of the investors that I know, the millionaire real estate investors that I'm friends with, None of them had great credit when they started out. Almost none of them had money. And they certainly didn't get traditional mortgages. They had to be creative. And you can too. There are many different paths that you can take. And if you're driven enough, no obstacle can stop you, especially not limitations from a traditional bank, for crying out loud. If one of these strategies piqued your interest, be sure to check the description box below because we have a whole bunch of resources on everything from non-recourse financing to investing with your home equity. Be sure to check out the description box below. And if you'd like to chat through one of these options, my team at Morris Invest would love to hear from you. We speak with investors all day long, helping them develop their personalized real estate strategy. We can help create a strategy for you, point you in the right direction, or help you set up retirement accounts for investing for free. We would love to learn more about you and your goals. You can schedule a free 30-minute call with us. Just go to our website, morrisinvest.com. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you back here in the next video. Go out there, everyone. Take action. Become a real estate investor. It's the number one way to build wealth. We'll see you next time.